would like to call to order the February 10th, 2015 Recreation Committee meeting. All councilmen are present except Councilman Brian Malonso. Um, Mr. Ken Dawson will lead us in the prayer tonight. I'd like to ask everyone to stand. Um, let us pray. Father, we thank you for all the blessings you bestowed upon us, all the things you've given us, and even the opportunity to serve the people of Ascension Parish. For Lord, if we want to be greater your kingdom, you said, let them be the servants. We thank you for your wisdom and guidance, for your knowledge, your God, and for your direction that you give us to move the parish forward and to be an asset to the people of this wonderful parish. We give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to remind the public if anybody wants to speak, there's a comment card at the podium that you sign and turn in to me. We go to agenda item number four, the director's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, first thing, uh, Sorrento Park, we talked about at the last council meeting. We're going to have to do an uh, agreement with the city of Sorrento to do the playground and everything, and that's, that's a moving forward. We've already turned it over to the attorneys to look at it. The Hillreville Park, uh, this is uh, a copy of the playground. I don't think that's exactly how it's going to be, but uh, I know they showed it around. We have the playground already in. Uh, Mr. Bob uh, Horner with the uh, engineering department has the paperwork. We met it with, our, with him out there uh, yesterday at the site and uh, do an elevation shot. And uh, we have to do some reports on the, on the because uh, it was a federal money at one time. We had to submit to them about the uh, walk trail. We're going to do the walk trail and the playground, try to do that first. Uh, Mr. Dean Mayo is uh, the uh, new uh, president of the Baseball Association. I don't know if he wants to say a few words, if that's okay with y'all. Sure. Hello, as uh, Mr. Carney said, I'm the president of the Central Baseball Committee. We run the baseball program here for REC. Um, recently, we've, uh, we've been associated with Babe Ruth. Pleased to announce that we're going to be hosting a regional tournament in July. Uh, and for Bay Ruth, that, that regional type tournament uh, would incorporate um, eight to 12 teams. That I thought initially, and then I went back and met with them. They said it's going to be about 18 to 20 teams coming here, and uh, we're going to start working with the hotels and other things. It should be a big boom for us over there at Stevens Park. And associated with that, we're uh, we're helping out at the park with some work days, uh, replacing the fence cap, and I think uh, Mr. Garney had got some new capping in and uh, we're helping him put some of that on as a part of our volunteer organization and uh, it is the time of year right now we are in the process of registering kids last year we had over 1500 kids registered from ages 3 all the way to 18 um, that includes the t-ball program the small ball three and four year old so we'll be registering Wednesdays and Saturdays throughout the month of February and get started with our regular league play in uh, in April April 1st is that right I put together the calendar. I didn't remember. I didn't know I was going to be talking to y'all this morning <laughs> or this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> but it is growing. We're still we're still doing good. Uh, we're working with the parish, uh, getting the fields going, and uh, we're associated with machine pitch for sixes through eights, and then kids pitch starts at nine, and um, and we'll continue to work together as much as we can. Any questions? One question. Out to fifteen hundred, and it also include the girls softball. We are not associated with girls softball. That's the AYSA organization. In fact, I was talking to a parent with them today. They're starting their registration also uh, this time. I just don't know any dates or times. Starts Thursday. Uh, and they are opening online. We're trying to open ours online. So I would imagine now, I think that's another, what, three or 400, 500, another more 500 players. Uh, and this is, none of this is tournament associated baseball or softball. But our program does take into account the three and four year olds moving in what we call small ball and then into the T ball. So that's why our numbers are a little bit higher, um, basically. Okay. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Yeah, well, Dean, just to just to reassure some of these numbers, just just to let everyone know, Ascension Parish, the registered 15 through 18 year old boys, we have had the largest number in our, what the state. We're the largest in the state of any organization, whether it's USSSA, Babe Ruth, um, any other association in the state uh, with our Six Nature program. Um, it used to be 15, 18, and basically what that does is with the three major schools we have around here, the kids go to tournament ball, uh, they come back and play. Uh, they love baseball, so they come back and play, and uh, we've cleaned that organiz our organization up over there. Dempsey's aware of it. Uh, I think his nephew's still playing over there. Uh, and it's a it's a fun time. We're work, also working on a program with uh, some umpires in the area. We started this last year, uh, getting the umpires to where they're going through more, using our league as more of a practice league and preparing themselves to be umpires for uh, LHSA. And uh, so we have a training clinic actually for those guys uh, in a couple of weeks. And that reminds me, we're uh, I do want to say one more thing. One of the things we started last year, whenever I got involved, was we. Um, managed to talk to a former baseball player, David DeLucci. Uh, he runs the Extra Innings Baseball Clinic. And last season during our registration in February, he host, we hosted our first annual free clinic for all kids in Ascension Parish. Uh, we made it free for the players that registered in our league, and we had a small charge for any tournament players that came, and we're doing the same thing. We're having our second one on February 21st. It's going to be an all-day event. Everybody's welcome to attend. Uh, David DeLucci is going to bring some uh, major league ball players out there or some former ball players. Last year, some of the names included uh, Aaron Nola, Micah Gibbs, um, and many more that I'm leaving off the list. Uh, and of course, David played for the Arizona Diamondbacks and won a World Series ring with them. So uh, we got good things happening, and we're looking forward to that clinic on the February 21st. Appreciate that, Dean. Yeah, Mr. Dean, I, I just want to thank you and all the volunteers. You know, without you guys, we wouldn't have the programs for the kids that we have today. And uh, we do what we can to keep up the fields, and Mr. Gorney does a good job with that. And uh, just want to commend you guys as volunteers because, yeah, y'all would have thought, you know, all about to keep these kids active in, in, in the program. So thank you a lot for what you do. The uh, Santa Mo, uh, we moved from Santa Mo Park uh, to uh, the new uh, boat launch in, uh, Sor in Sorrento. Uh, we've gotten us a workshop now for the carpenters and everything else to be able to work. Uh, the spray park in Donsonville, we've ordered the pipe therein. We've uh, done a requisition for the catch basin that's going to be built on site. And I think the bids will probably be awarded pretty soon. I know they've taken, taken them in already. Um, we had the ribbon cutting at Oak Grove Community Center uh, about two weeks ago, and we're now open. We're getting a lot of calls. We have to come back to y'all uh, to redo the uh, rental agreements and stuff because we're running into a lot of problems with trying to do it for two hours. So we'll be coming back to y'all more probably in March about that. Uh, other than that, we have our sock ops still. We don't have one in February, but we had our biggest crowd other than December, the last one. Uh, it had some new people, about 40 something new people showed up. So we had almost 440 people come in. Go. That's pretty much That's it. Great. Any questions? Yeah, go on. I have a question. As far as the Hillerville Park, do we have an estimated start date? Uh, well, uh, as soon as Mr. Bob Hornham comes back with the information we need, because we need to be sure the ground is prepared right for the walk trail because it's a federal program. and. Uh, the, all they're going to do is the saw, the saw test and everything else, too. So, I mean, I'm looking at more probably at least 60 days, 30, 60 days. We have the playground equipment in already. So that's 60 days before they start breaking ground yes. at the park? Uh, I, I think so. Uh, I can report back to you in March. And any better. once they start, how long before it's completed? Well, the playground's put in in one or two days. You know, they walk trail. I mean, uh, if, if we do asphalt, which I think... President Martin, as I talked about it the other day, I think that's better than the cement. You know, I mean, uh, with the one we've done I around the walk, the, the walk trail, it, it, we've done the Mar Dixon is super. Yeah. So as far as the walk trail, uh, what would be the estimated completion time on the walk trail? That's not going to take more part of it with good weather, maybe two weeks. 
but that's just an estimate. You know, so I get, I get the engineer that answers for you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, but roughly by June, they should have a parking here event. Thanks, so. Okay. Past president. On the on the you talking about federal monies? I mean, is this because we had to swap? Or is it, why would we have to worry about the federal regulations or, or anything if we paying for the entire walk trail? Well, it's replacing the park that they gave us. And we didn't have a walk trail, eh? Huh? They didn't have a walk no, trail, eh? No, no. Well, if we don't have to do that, we'll save time. Well, I know, but I mean, who's yeah. telling you you have to do that? Well, Martha know. said we had to make sure that when we done the walk trail, it met the specifications of, of a walk trail. I'm okay with that. I just yeah. want to know because yeah. <laughs> it takes more time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess we need to check in today if possible because we don't have to meet a federal re regulations. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to get a report back on that for the March recreation meeting. Any other questions? You know I got something going. Yeah. You ain't gonna leave me up there <laughs> hanging today. <laughs> going there on on that water spray park. Uh, what is projected uh, completion date on that? Would they have it by the summer, or could they have it in the summer? Mike, what have we had 120 days? We have 120 days completion from the time they start. Okay, so the water will be turned on this summer sometime. <laughs> 120 <laughs> days. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be August. It's still yeah. summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, the other one is going in, we, we were just talking briefly, but still, uh, I've been getting some phone calls on the playground equipment that we have in Lemonville and Lowry Park and some other parks that we have that, uh, the protection, uh, the wood chips or whatever, mm -hmm. and it have grass and, you know, I know it's uh, just getting here and, uh, but uh, requesting that we try to clean up there as soon as we can. I know your people are at the baseball field. Mm -hmm. And can you give us an update of what you're doing at the baseball field in Donaldsonville? We had to retire the nets and the, uh, the uh, rubber stuff that's around the bottom come loose. We had to replace a lot of fencing. We had vandalism that happened uh, two weeks straight. They, I mean, they, we painted the literature right off of it the next day. It was disgusting. They painted on the windscreens, everything, on the cement, you know, and... Uh, they was out there two or three days just trying to straighten all that out, but we got it all straight. And talk about the grass and stuff, we are gonna order a 48-foot uh, truck of the uh, stuff that goes inside the uh, playgrounds. It's uh, getting packed down and losing about, they said about an inch and a half a year from it. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do like, it's, I think it's $50 a stop for each one of the ballparks we bring it, I mean the uh, playgrounds we bring it to. And all of them need it. Okay. For sure, but the, but the grass and all will be taken out before we do that, so that should be in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Um, also on the, um, I know we have the, the, the construction under the lights at La La, I mean at uh, right. La La. Right. La La uh, Field. Right. right. Uh, they're going to be ready for uh, the baseball? It, it's got to be done by February the 28th, but they're looking at having it by the, the 19th or the 20th because I think they have, they have a game on the 21st. Okay. I think uh, they was it. We we was out then uh, last Thursday, and they was working on one of the poles. I think they got it ready. and They fixing to do, start on the other two. Okay. Yeah. And my last question going is, um, I, matter of fact, your director over there, Miss uh, Mitchell, and myself have been questing on um, a a u a u yeah. basketball, right? And they want to. Uh, sign an uh, agreement with uh, they can practice basketball at uh, the old DHS gym. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we informed them there is a uh, a fee that mm -hmm. if you are not part of a parish organization and you are basic private, there's a fee to rent the facility. Mm -hmm. And uh, have to have insurance also. Insurance. Right. And uh, but as we was discussing, uh, once again, then well, you're going to check into it to verify uh, it. Do uh, we have that authorization well, or the school board? I'm going to get with Chad Lynch tomorrow morning. I'm going to give him a call and we we'll have to check with his legal department hours because we're using their gym. Can we, can we uh, charge for it while we're using it? You know what I mean? 
Right. But, I, but I'll check on that for sure. But we do have a ordinance, or I mean, we do have agreement that if it's a parish facility and you're a, a mm -hmm. private organization, you have to pay yeah. a rent a fee. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Any other questions? President Martinez. Yeah, I want, I want to go back to the Harryville Park, and I'm going to get Mr. Terry up here. Yeah. Are you uh, familiar with the Harryville Park? That was Mr. Bob Horner. Yeah. I, no, that was actually Mike. Huh? Mr. Bob wasn't involved. With the Hillville Park. Well, my deal is I want to make yeah. sure because yeah. we made a commitment here. We, we've we been taking a lot of time on this park, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure and I want to find out why we got to build a walking track to the federal standards and uh, why we can't put the playground equipment up before. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, I, 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 want to, I want to make sure this thing gets done in a timely manner. I mean, we've been kind of putting it off and off and off, and uh, you know, I keep telling uh, Mr. Turner we're gonna take care of it, we're gonna handle it, and uh, it's gonna get done. But uh, right. you know, somebody needs to, 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 well, to tell be, me why it's I'll, not getting done. You know. I'll meet with Walter tomorrow morning about it. Well, we can make it a handicapped accessible. I'm yeah, not hard easy, for the yeah. walking track. Playgrounds. I mean, will be, I'll be a handicapped already. You know, whenever we do. We yeah, but I mean, the handicapped yeah. accessible. Just put a ramp for, mm -hmm. to get on a walking trail. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not. Right. You don't need to have an engineer to do that. I wouldn't mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. As long as it. Yeah. We paying for it. It's not federal funding. <laughs> so I mean, I. I I just don't want to delay this. I want this thing done uh, before I show them, before I get out of office. I would hope right. that uh, we get I'll done. Get, I'll give it Martha tomorrow morning. We'll get it straight. And if, it, if we don't have to worry about it, then, you know, we, we, we're going to do an elevator well, shot. I don't just continue doing what you're doing, but well, I don't, don't stop to. nothing. But uh, I don't. I, I want to make sure that we we need to, to, to spend, if we don't need to spend all this extra money and, and we can still do the same job. Yeah. We just need a handicapped accessible. That's not a problem. Yeah. I mean, we we uh, we can build ramps. So. Yeah. But look, I don't mind taking and running with it. Well, we need to get it running, and we need to start running. Well, let's so. start running. Yeah, so. Let's start running. <laughs> anyway, and I'm not. I'm just saying that because I mean, I know I sure. get the call. I've been getting calls on this for a year now. Yeah. And, uh, I know it's been a, a burden. It's tough because of what happened with the other park where they put the sewer plant, which we, we wasn't here then, this administration wasn't here, but yeah. it took us that long to get everything straightened out, and uh, uh, hopefully we can get this thing back in order and working order. And uh, I'd like to see it done in 30 days, but I, I don't know. All right. So. All right, I see it. All right, we go to agenda item number five, Jackie Robinson restrooms. Yes. Uh, those restrooms have been there for 30 years. They were built in a bad spot. They're almost in a hole. Uh, whenever they built it, the drains are higher than the floor. You can't uh, wash them out or anything else. And when it rains, now the water runs into them. It's got the old two by four uh, stalls and everything else. And all we want to do it, you know, tear it down and move it back to a higher spot and do the same thing we're doing at all our parks. We're building all of them the same, exactly the same kind of restrooms in all the, all the parks. And we want to do that. So moved, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Second that. We got a motion by Councilman Dempsey Lambert, seconded by Councilman Ty Lambert. Any objections? With no objection, the motion passes. We go to agenda item number six, the Adult Flag Football League. That's yours. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this is something um, I've discussed with Michelle. There is a Adult Flag Football League during the fall season. Right. And we're also going to try to implement a season during the spring on Sundays. And what we're talking about is doing it maybe at, uh, we haven't really discussed a particular field yet, but we think it would be a good idea to do it on Sundays during the spring. Uh, I know there's a very successful league um, with Breck that has a Sunday league, <clears throat> and they play strictly on Sundays during the spring season. And we think that would be a good idea to try as a test run this year for the parish. At Darrow. Yeah, at the Darrow Park. Yeah. You want us to start on it? I think, do we, will we need a motion first or? 
No. That's, no. Just, no. A pro, that's just a program. program. Right. Okay. Administration can handle that. Responsible. Like normally, <laughs> when we have a lead, so, we have somebody that says, I want to start. So we're program. looking for any organization that would like to organize this, like the Baseball Association, so you have a flag football association that will basic say volunteer this volunteer basic just what we need we need referees we need flags we need football and the parish will provide that with the football field but they have to go out there and get the players organize and, and it they themselves. would have to provide like because i have we we did it in the fall we tried it and and i'll talk to bj about it um and you can meet with bj about it and because i don't know where to find flag football referees at like, I just don't know that. So we need to put it out there and say, if you're interested in calling these games, call recreation. Right. We have to. Yeah, I don't think, I think we advertise for the referees. It shouldn't be a problem finding them. Because uh, I know that the league in Brick has the referees that they use out there, and it's, uh, I want to say, probably 10 or 12 different guys right. that ref those games. And... I'm sure they wouldn't mind riffing here as well. Right. I, I do that with my uh, softball umpires. They, you know, they do it, but you got to put it out there. Right. So I said the guy's name is BJ. So we'll probably put it back on the agenda in March. Um, give us time to meet with BJ and to try to see if we can get any volunteers who would want to spearhead the league. Uh, I may help myself as trying to spearhead, but I'm not playing. Though, but <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, can we put uh, advertise that on our website that we're looking uh, in the recreation department yep. for those uh, anyone that's interested in flag football? Any questions or any further discussion on agenda item six? And we're going to agenda item number seven, the Methanex donation. President Martin has a call me with a name, Miss Megan Mahoney, that works for Methanex, and I called her. And we was able to get 50 picnic tables, heavy duty, treated uh, two by fours, and we've taken and put them in all the parks and everything. And uh, I'd like for us maybe at a later date to get together with the committee and President Martinez and all and maybe do something with them and make a presentation or something to them at one of the meetings a little bit later because they're going to give us another 50 whenever they finish the second phase of the plant. And uh, we went down, they loaded up everything else, and now we got 50 tables in all the parks and all, so we're going to get 50 more at least. Awesome. So. I guess huh? I have some on the west side? Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. want to make sure now, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. you, you, sometimes you don't want to cross the bridge, so you, make sure. Well, it was bad weather that we only was able to make one park. <laughs> <laughs> just keep me straight, Joe. Right, with that, we'll move to agenda item number eight, the soccer complex. This is something that uh, they've been working on for about a year and a half, two years, about the soccer complex. And there's money coming and money going, but what we'd like to ask to, to, to do this right and get a, a soccer complex that's second to none. The Recreation Department would like to take $1.8 million out of their uh, fund balance, which would still leave us almost $3 million left in the fund balance. And um, Mike Terry has been working on it for the, since he's been here. And if y'all got any questions about the construction or everything else, I'm, I'm sure he'd be glad to answer it. But uh, this is a chance for us, and to be at Lamar Dixon on the side where they used to park at about L. Landry Road. Councilman Lambert. Yeah, I, I spoke with Mr. Gorney on this project, and uh, guys, this is, uh, you know, we, we, we try to pass the tax, and, you know, I was one of the ones in opposition, but. You know, I let everybody know that I wasn't against recreation and that we could phase in these parks. And this is the first phase that I'm all for. You know, it's 1.8 million. I commend Mr. Gorney and Parish President to saving a little money in a rec so we can uh, start phasing in some of these projects. And this is gonna be a good project and uh, I'm all for it. And I'm 
I make the motion that we move forward with these soccer fields. I'll second it. <clears throat> we got a motion by Councilman Todd Lambert and seconded by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Councilman Joseph has a question. Yeah, I, you know, I had talked to uh, President Martin as uh, briefly on this, and he, uh, I know some of the money was coming from a grant. Yes, sir, that's what I was yeah, okay. Uh, we have three hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars right now. I mean, two hundred ninety-four thousand uh, that we got last year uh, through capital outlay. Uh, it was reported in the advocate that that. We had another 900000 for this year, but uh, that wasn't true. But the reporter never did call or ask me. But uh, anyway, we're looking at uh, next year, uh, this year, applying for that again. I talked to Senator Amade uh, today, and uh, he assured me that we were going to be getting some money for this. So hopefully we can uh, get the original $900,000 that uh, we applied for, and uh, that will cut that in half, you you nine uh, one point eight million dollars, and uh, we'll get down to nine hundred thousand, and uh, hopefully we can even cut it more by continually asking for grants. I think it's going to be uh, a good thing. I mean, I, I think this Ascension Parish is ready for a complex like this. Uh, but like Todd said, we can phase these things in and do a little at a time and uh, get them paid uh, for. Fortunately, uh, over the last year or so, when we gave incentives out to the plants, a lot of the plants, rather than using the local incentives, they actually opted for the state incentives. They can't get both. They could either get either or. And with that happening, uh, the one cent sales tax, recreation gets 10% of that. So anything that was rebated back, uh, they got it and put in their fund balance. And prior to this year, before we, we started moving, uh, money all to sewer, uh, recreation was getting 25% of any surplus that we had. So uh, we built up a pretty good fund balance, uh, hopefully next year. Uh, I'm not sure, we haven't got official word yet, but uh, CF Industry is, is looking at uh, probably opting for the state uh, incent, in, incentive program also. So they'll get, that's 4.1 million, so recreation should get another 410,000 just on that one. And I'm not sure on one of the BSF uh, incentives that we gave if uh, they're going to take. I think they're going to probably go state too, but I haven't. I don't have official word on that. So right. you'll be able to refill the coffers, I think, uh, pretty quickly on that. And uh, with the lighting, we've uh, we've uh, worked with uh, Councilman Turner on that to provide a lot of lighting out in that area because of his lighting district, and he had a pretty healthy fund balance, and he was generous enough to work with us on that. So. Uh, I think it's uh, all in all going to be a, a, a really great facility, and I think the kids uh, will enjoy it not only uh, now but in the future. So uh, I appreciate you supporting this, and uh, I think it's, it's, it's just a wonderful thing. Thank you. Good job. Any questions? Okay. Any opposition to the motion? If no opposition to the motion, that motion passes. Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Motion to adjourn by Councilman Lambert. Second, Second by Councilman Tyler Lambert. Meeting adjourned.